five lives on YouTube. Share me the link so I can put it up. Here, just videotape the car. <clears throat> it's recording this. A Chevy. You already go around it, Logan? No? Okay. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Old school. Yup. <laughs> so are the red caps. Yeah. Well, I could use a couple more of these bad boys. Brandon. <laughs> so this is still live, yes? Oh, wow. <clears throat> Once again, I am not technical. Yeah, that word advanced at all. I'm playing Jack. All right, Wiz, you have the link to your Facebook Messenger at least. 2022, oh, sorry, 2022 Chevy Camaro. I forget what package this is. So we're going to start out uh, with the door and uh, wing windows here. And then once we get some viewers in, we're going to move around to the back window after they get finished the front. But uh, it's just going to be one camera today. Uh, our other cameras throwing issues. But other than that, the live will be started in just a few minutes.
cameras in here in the top in the glass thing. Just so it has something to look at. All right, for those of you just tuning in, uh, we are getting started in just a few moments. Uh, Wizard is currently posting on all the social media that, you know, we are live. Um, but yeah, other than that, we are waiting for Mike to get off the phone, uh, messing with music and social media, and then we will get started. Uh, we are first doing the front windows 
Uh, moving on to the wing and then to the back. By wing, I mean the wing windows, the quarter windows, whatever you want to call them. Uno momento, por favor. What's up, guys? Just getting total set up, waiting on Mike, you know. Kind of our motto around here. Still waiting, but I'm back. I'm wondering where Gabriel was. <laughs> I'm all looking around like, I don't even see it. It's blocking me. Blocking me. All right, Mike. Hey, Logan. Well, we got a 2022 for the third time for people just tuning in. 2022 <laughs> Camaro. Uh, we Chevrolet. Che Chevy, Chevrolet. Chevy Camaro. Uh, we got to do our little uh, pre-tint ritual and got to touch tips. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot about that. Does this one get a top? I can't remember. Okay. No top. So we're doing the front two windows. 
the two quarter windows and then toward the end of the video you will get the back glass installation that everyone's been begging for um but other than that mike is getting set up for the passenger window with it still messing with social media and i will be the filmer for today hello Logan. All right, I'm not taking the seals out of this one. For a lot of guys that don't take the seals out. Kind of something I do. Put that there. You can roll the window down if you want and do it. It doesn't really matter. Make sure that piece of tape is tucked in there nice and fine. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> That's why it's a little easier if you roll the windows down. Get in there and turn it off. Do this. Put her down. You can add another piece of tape if you want. Whatever you want to do. We're a little extra here, so. Overachievers. That's what we're right, Wes? That's right. No, I'm saying he's more than you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guy? <laughs> Under the other side. Repping the old school today. That's right. 2013 competitions. Just remember, Wither had shirts from like when some of y'all were born. So, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> uh, the reason why I'm doing this with the well, these are just back window covers because they're three ninety nine. No, I'm just trying to figure out which side of the liner the tape will actually stick to you guys really need to see it come apart we'll tear it apart for each one but if not move on everybody whines we tear them apart anyway yeah well no sure you tore them apart but now we're not so if you have any questions comments or cern or concerns please leave them in our youtube chat uh, that's the quickest way we can respond to you guys if you are watching. Nice. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see us tear one of these door panels apart just for the video, leave a comment below. Um, if not, we're just going to do it without tearing the door panel apart just to save ourselves a little, a little hassle. <clears throat> and it's not even that hard. It's going to sound like you're breaking it, but... It's usually we'll use a something like this or a bone or something like that. You get back here and it's just basically it's just clips. That's all it is, and they just pop back. Snap, snap, snap. Let's see. So yeah, it's gonna sound like it's breaking, but in reality it's just those clips giving free. And since they yeah. are brand new, a lot of them are still connected. Yeah, and they really suck, but all you do is snap them all the way across, pop these two out, these two uh, push pins, pop, pop, and it comes right out. One thing, though, these little metal brackets in here or whatever, when they stick in there, they're great. When you pull the rubber out and they come out, they can fall on the door panel. That sucks. So just so, be careful of that. Yeah, and then when you put it back on... Smack it on. Good to it go. Clips back to the door. Yep. Not too many screws and door panels anymore. Usually just the one by the, the door handle pull, and then sometimes one that's down in the cup of the door. Yep. However, 
Yeah, this Camaro has one that's under this door handle here. It's behind it. Um, but it's not really necessary. These just pull back from the seal. Yep. So. Yeah, when you're pulling full panel removal, some yes, most no, oh, no. Unless you like replacing clips and stuff like that. That's all good. Now, if I could have someone, uh, whoever's watching, just post whether or not you can hear Mike and Wizard. Maybe they might be a little quiet um, just because of the distance that the camera is away from them. But if you could just drop something, let me know if you can hear them or not throughout the video. Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tall guy, tall guy in a little car. He used to ask us, uh, ask me anyway. Uh, you're so tall, how do you get in the back seat? I said, well, you ever seen Annie Ann's make a pretzel? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the same way. What's up, guys? Just scrubbing. Getting everything clean and tidy. Scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Always make sure you protect their interior and wipe off the runs. Yes. Well, you don't have to, but each door panel is going to run you about a thousand bucks. So, no, however you want to do it. That's if you can get the door panel. It'll fold so it's nice and sharp. Yeah. I got him on the left frame, and if you're working on the uh, quarter over there, you can get that too. I'll hand me that, Mick. Which one would you prefer, sir? Both, as what? always. The quarter. I'd like a double quarter. No oh, cheese. No touch it to film. Monies. Like a pizza, guys. You don't touch the customer's sauce and cheese. Don't touch the glue. Put them on the board backwards. Probably why the shrinking them was a little weird. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> 
So this entire live is going to be a hand cam, our POV cam, a point of view, which is usually mounted on either Mike's forehead or Wizard's forehead. Um, that camera is being funky right now. It's not letting us connect. Um, so we're making the best with what we got. I'm going to do a hand cam stream. Let us know if you prefer hand cam or POV. Some people like yeah. POV. Some people like hand cam. And however you all want. Ooh. Let us know what you prefer. Because the hand cam can be nice, but it can't catch everything. The POV cam can catch everything, but sometimes it can make people a little sick. Um, <laughs> so it, it all depends on what people want to see. So, and I know what everybody's thinking right now. Oh my god, that top is dirt. Wrong. That's why you flush everything you scrub the hell out of it and flush it beautiful all right now you got all your stuff down of whatnots <laughs> <clears throat> now this is how we roll this is what i'm gonna do i usually just lock that top down nope wrong one i'm gonna press yes i'm gonna pick that piece up i'm gonna hold this thing over so you don't cut it which would be nice Oops, here. Oops, shake it, shake it. Set it on. Just set it on the top and let it roll. Don't push it. Don't, you know. I'm gonna follow down that line. Boom. All right, now. Anybody that can actually cut a round corner without screwing it up, <laughs> you can. Move it down, get your perfect gap, whatever. It's however you want to do it. But I'm going to squeeze you the rest of this out. I'm going to do it while I'm doing it. All right. Go over to the top again. You don't have to push that hard. Go over to the top. Bring your stuff down. And then this is what I'll use. It's either you can get the it's called a shank. This one is not the shank. However, this one's from like Michael's or something, Walmart, whatever. I may or may not have misplaced my shank. <laughs> so this is why I have this. Now you can either put it in here and go down. You definitely want to put something in there so you got the where the water so you have somewhere the water can go. Yeah, Other than just keep building up and if it keeps coming up. Because it's going to be building up in the dirt. Now just go all the way across because I don't. Okay. You can do that. I get stuff. <clears throat> then, <clears throat> we're sparkle, sparkle. Whiz, whiz stuff, we steal it. Do you have steal it? I don't want that. Oh. All right, let me see the wand. All right. He's going to use Wizard's Wand. Any good tenor is going to do this. Okay. Is it? Yeah, we're good. All right. So forgive me. <laughs> it's like the second time I've used this thing. Today, I'm in. Yeah, today. Feel that water coming out. I'm much more of a fan of the blue. This is kind of kind of sticky. I will. Yeah, not a fan of the orange dude. Not at all. Sorry. Hey, that's good. Oh. 
<laughs> How are you doing no. today? All right, now this is the blue one. And you might be able to see it's still pushing water out. So, and when you guys are going to the edge, slow it down a little bit because you come over. You see that right there? Yeah, that line of water. No, you see this on the uh, yeah, the black pool yeah, part. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Redoing it. So, and you don't have to go all the way down, y'all. Actually, I don't mind this with. Pretty nice. I'm not feeling well. Wizard said easier on the shoulders, is it not? Yeah, actually, it is. It's pretty nice, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, brought to you by Fusion Tools. <laughs> Get one, but you gotta ask for it by name. Yep, this is the Wizard's Wand. You can get it at Fusion Tint Tools, either on their Facebook page, or if you email them and contact them. The only way to get it right now is if you special request Wizard's Wand. Um, like I said, give them an email or hit them up on Facebook. Uh, it's the only way you can get it currently. However, it's looking to be a production item. Okay, now we got that spot out of the way. <laughs> Man, you can use any kind of cards you want, any tool, whatever. All right, so we got a comment from Braden. Uh, mm -hmm. Braden Schmansky. Braden, what up? He said he made that shaved edge look easy. A more detailed shaving video would be cool. Um, there really isn't. Like how I don't understand how it could be more. More detailed and shaving. Okay, so I'll just, all right, look. <clears throat> you only put out about you can do about that much on a knife, depending on how beveled the edge is. Like if it's really uh like the um the laminated glass where it's two pieces and it's real, you know, nice sharp edge, no bevel. You can use this. You can go out one, two, three clicks, however you want to do it. I do it kind of short because I've been doing it for I don't know since like the sun was developed <laughs> so um yeah it was it, i don't even think it was the sun yet but um yeah just just be careful because when you're when you're shaving the top edge you're still going to have a little bit left over all right i'm going to file this if you're going to shave edges and you don't heat it or anything you don't file it i'm telling you right now 99.9 .9 chance it is going to peel somewhere along the line. You left a pull tab. It's going to peel. So you don't do that. All right. If you're going to, if you're going to knife them, do it and then put it down just a little bit. I don't care if it's a micro edge, whatever you want. Don't care. You don't do it. You don't shave that or anything. It's going to pop back. See? Yeah. And you can start to see the air bubble there just it's from, popping back. from having that little bit of yep. edge to grab onto. Exactly. So you want to file it or, like he said, move it down just a micro, would it be a millimeter, centimeter, whatever. Just yeah. get it just off that edge. And if you, I don't know if the pattern's messed up or there's a, you know, a little um, nick in it or something, you shave it or whatever, you pull it down. But if you don't pull it down after you shave it, I'm telling you, you're redoing it. Not sure exactly when, but you will be redoing it. And I'm doing this <clears throat> normally. My other hard card is, is different, but it's... but anyways, I'm bumping the edge so I can get a little bit of that excess water out of it. So when I heat it, it's not usually it doesn't finger or anything like that. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So we got that. For a minute. Sure. <laughs> He's Thanks. like, I need my lengthy legs out of this back seat. He's a guy <laughs> in a little car. Okay. Now. Get our old, uh, our indoor lighter. Indoor lighter. Not competition approved. Yes, yes not competition approved, unfortunately. Actually, meeting some of you fools. Thank God they won't let torches in the building. <laughs> it's just going to heat up that edge. Yeah. 
at AIDS. Right, come on this side. I, I'm watching the um, moisture. moisture disappear. You can okay. kind of see it there where the moisture is disappearing. Yeah, disappearing. That's on the outside, guys. Yeah, it's on the outside, not the inside. So that's how you know when the glass is warm enough is that moisture look actually disappears. So let's see. Just off of that, you got you to gotta come out and feel it. So just off of that, obviously that's hot. The bottom is not. Do not do this. Yeah. Okay. The second you do that, you're going to hit this plastic. Yes. Goodbye plastic. All of this right here, probably some of the paint. May or may not hit the mirror. Just saying. That's going to cost you about 800 bucks. Let me just heat it real quick. Money. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go down. Well, I would have showed you, but today is electronics don't work day. Nice. Yeah, we've just been having issue after issue with anything electronic. It has not been our day, but we're still trying to get this video out for you guys. Yeah, where the hell is Elon when you need him, right? But you guys can see that moisture disappearing. Um, as he goes along that edge, you'll see it slowly creep up and go away from wherever it's warm. And then you just want to feel it. If it's hot, you're good. If it's lukewarm... Then... So just a little bit more. Get a little warmer. Now, this back edge I have noticed, like, when I shave... When you heat the back edge, sometimes it'll get like a finger in it, basically. Like yeah. the, you know, tenors. A little line. Yeah, tenors are going to know what I'm talking about. But it's the reason why is because these are, you know, shrink up and down. This side, once you get a hot, it wants to shrink. So it gets that weird side shrink look to it. Don't worry about it. Sometimes it wants to come off the back edge. That's usually going to happen when you hit it with the torch. So when you hit it with a torch, you can come back and you might be able to see it. Let me see if I can get it to separate a little bit. It's actually good enough. Yeah. And these jokers are not heat guns, okay? No. Hot. And they are instant hot. It is fire you were playing with, not a heating element. <laughs> right? If you want to know how hot it is, ask Yulio. He'll tell you. That's all he uses the tea like all right you good all right cool and then if you look at this edge here there's one little stupid bubble right right there little air pocket it's right in front of my finger I mean, you probably can't see it but yeah it's really hard to see on camera but you just push it out and you push go at an push. angle you don't go straight down you definitely don't angle in sir so you kind of push down, angle out. Any of that water and that edge that wants to come out, you're probably going to push it out right there. A lot of times I don't do the top because I don't need to, but I'll just do it real quick. And then turn your towel or whatever you're using. So if it grabs something, it's not going to scratch the glass. I'm not pushing very hard, y'all. Kind of, you know. It's just gliding it over it pretty much. Yep. Pretty just much. enough pressure for it to contact the glass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there's that. Put the old indoor lighter there. And we Don't forget, fire. guys, if you like this, give us a like, follow, and subscribe. subscribe. We appreciate it. Hey, we are going, uh, we do have a deal live right now. If you buy a piece of merch and bring that piece of merch in with you, whether you're wearing it or if you get a blanket, hat, whatever, and you bring it in with you, you'll get 10% off your tent job. Um, that is only until October. We have, we have bucket hats, we have Merch. snapbacks, we have dad hats, trucker hats, uh, blankets, mouse pads, mugs, stickers, you name it, we probably got it. Um, and if you have any future ideas for merch and other designs, please let us know. Uh, drop a comment down below. That'd be awesome. Down below. Okay. No problem. He's always wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> all right now so we're gonna bust out my file
Uh, uh, on my phone, probably. Give me one second. Okay, okay. Sorry, technical difficulties. I do not know what happened. Uh, Wi-Fi probably went out for sick. We're back. Uh. Oh. Hi, D. <laughs> we good? Yep. Okie dokie. Alright, so, anyways, back to the file. Mill bastard file, find it low, Home Depot, whatever. Um, chop the top. Yeah, you chop the top off, and then we'll round these corners right here. Just so it's not so Just harsh. enough, dude. Yeah. Just enough, so you're not chunking the glass. Yeah, if we'll... you can tell... If you can see it right there on my disgusting fingernail, right there. Yeah. That right there is going to chunk your film. So I just haven't filed that back down yet. And there's a couple of more on this side. So I do not use this side. I use this side. And for some reason, it just seems indestructible. So we're going to keep getting it. Yeah, but, but always, always keep a lookout on your file when you are filing because edges like that will appear without you even knowing and without you even realizing it just from setting it down or bumping it or things of that nature so make sure that if you are filing you always look after that edge uh that edge is very important to the health of your tint when you're filing yes always keep the file clean All right, sir oh um that's a question for you because i don't know the technical term of the machine Oh, how I'm going to file it? Yeah, so do you, how do you get this corner rounded and cut, like you say? Oh, I don't know. What is it over at Bob's? Uh, belt, rack, belt sander. Belt sander. Yeah. Belt Dude, sander. It was like five sander. years ago. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Belt sander, hand sander, whatever you can get a hold of to yeah. to get that edge down. You don't really have to use another file because you're just breaking a file to make another file. It do honestly, it doesn't really matter, man. Just just cut that down. Don't care if concrete, chew it. I don't. Whatever. Just, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> just do it. All right. <clears throat> Camaros. You got these little tabs right here. You're gonna put it behind there because you don't really technically have to, but always looks better. So you want to pull that back a little bit. That's going to expose this. Obviously, don't tear it. Let's see where the front of this is. And this is going to sound... It's going to sound bad, but it, <laughs> it's not actually bad. Yeah. It's metal on glass. It's going to sound bad. Do the angle of the file, and then it's going to change once you get to the top and the other side. Oh, here, I'll get equal with the glass so that you can see the angle he's on. All right, now, after about that many, you're going to have to clean your file out. Yeah, because you can see the little pieces of tint left on the file. Just wipe that off. Yep. And I'll just kind of go like that. And yeah. It'll all be on your towel. A lot of times, it'll stay on here. You don't really have to mess with it. But people that don't file that much, every, I don't know, eight to ten swipes or something like that, probably going to have to clean off your, your file. I mean, it's just, it is what it is, dude. You want to do it right? Do it right. And the main reason you clean that file is if you have any little piece of tint left on it and say you are on the bottom edge there, it could scratch a piece of the, the film and then it, it ruins a whole window of the file. And not only that... If these get dirty like these are right now, it's going to start getting jagged. You cannot miss it unless you're literally blind. It'll start getting jagged, and then you can come back. Typically, I just keep getting it, but for these purposes, I'm... You guys might not be able to see it on camera. I'm trying to do the best I can on that edge. There we go. But you can see the difference in shaving versus non-shaving. It just kind of looks like the corner of the glass is rounded a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And yep. then this very sliver piece that you can almost catch your finger on will go away. Yep. And your 
The angle, do not do any of these angles here. No. No, 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 no. Yes. It's almost, almost yeah, it's you're... like a 20 degree angle. Do you it's... see where my middle finger is? Yeah, middle finger That's in between finger the now. file and the window, and that should be about the angle you want to keep. And finger here, or I don't really give I don't care how you do it. <laughs> good save, good save. <laughs> <laughs> Bite the tongue. Yeah, okay, so... All right. Anyways, usually I just keep getting it, but let's go. Up in that angle is the best way to do it. Yeah, I know I didn't do it correctly. If my fingernail doesn't typically hit the uh, the glass, so I don't know. It's just been. All right. Since the guy's on there, let me see your file. This oh, yeah. is the file that comes that we get from Lowe's. Okay. This is ours that we adapt. Notice. The top is shaved down. That way we don't have this quarter inch or whatever at the top that's useless and can't get back in the <laughs> corners where you really want. Then if I took this out of the package, these are 90 degree edges and they are very rough. So we just take the belt sander and take that edge off just that corner. So it's smooth, but the side file would still work or the top file would work, but that's how they come. This is kind of what we do to them. So if that helps you. Just round all the corners on the four corners um, and then chop the top. Yeah, we also do this with the top. I don't know if you can see the angle. It's almost like just round it off. Trying to get it to focus. Oh, okay. There we go. And there you can kind of see the corners and such. How the corners right here on this very edge where the top of my fingernail is, is just rounded. But other than that, yeah, that's all we do to that file. Yeah, you just want to knock the edges off. Um, anything that you think might cause a jagged edge or anything you might think would cut into the window instead of abrase the window. And we all know anybody that deals with glass. Glass these days is pretty much garbage. I mean, it is what it is. You can't scrape it, a lot of them anymore, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't need to be on here anymore. But anyway, um, these not beveled once you get into here the sharper ones like i was saying like the laminated ones uh like dodge you know durangos and whatnot um deep grand cherokees have them these real sharp can chunk that glass just just round them off do yourselves a favor just round them off. it's something that we've found after years of experience if we're telling you it's true i <laughs> i mean <laughs> you we can take it not. with a grain of salt or you can you know try it out at home practice with it and see if it works for you because yeah. everyone's different everyone has a different technique so and if you want to see the receipts i'm sure we still have them because we and if you break anything you screw anything up on a customer's card just fix it there is there's there's no need for fighting nothing like that if you did it just own up to it and just take care of it. <clears throat> now, this is about as much as I usually shave off here or file off. Um, if you're going to knife the top, if you're going to shave it, try not to leave too much because it's going to end up in your file. You won't be able to file as much till this thing gets dirty. I mean, it's just, it's basic. It's basic knowledge, y'all. <laughs> the more you file off, the dirtier it gets, the faster, blah, blah, blah. So. And this... Let's go on the round, just real light. Yeah, be gentle on the corners. This back edge is a pain in the ass. And yeah, I can say that. Pain in the donkey. Yeah, yeah, that one. Donkey. That too. Rex needs his donkey. Alright, so we got all that off right there. Now with the back side, it's just weird. I don't know, like physics and whatnot. But it's just the angle that you're shaving it. You're going to have to go back over it, which I typically do anyway. Let me set that there. I'm not stepping on it. I'll oh, never get it off your shoe. I always go back, <clears throat> same side of the file. I always go the other way. This one's kind of like to cut it down, kind of like in, uh, I don't know, like in a uh, 120 grit. To get a lot of the excess off and then to come back and just... Yeah. Finish it up, make it look clean. Yep. So he came into it this way. Now he's gonna go back over it this way. Yep. And this usually will get off like any any stubborn stuff that didn't want to come off first. 
<clears throat> and it, I don't know, it's just a much, it's just a much better finishing system. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But just be careful, you know, pay attention to what you're doing. Pay attention. I don't know, it might even come out right. <laughs> Not. And there's just itty bitty excesses that he's pulling off, and that's why you go back over it and finish it up. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think you can see it on my fingers, really. Every It's like, you can see the sparkle in yeah. person, but on camera, you probably won't see that. Um, but there is just like microscopic little edges that come off when he goes back over it, and that's why you go back over it. Hold on, I gotta wipe it off real quick, guys. Yeah, wipe it off, get all that dust. I'm gonna do my best to try and get the camera to focus. All right, that right, okay. There's a, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a piece of film right at the tip of my finger, right in the uh, the beveled edge. Where you just missed it. Didn't miss it. That's the glass. It's the glass? Yep. That's a little pit in the glass. So when you go to your file and file and file the hell out of it, yeah, well, it's the glass. So you can come up with your fingernail. Got it. There it is. There's a little pit in the glass, and it kept that little piece of film in there. So, money, money, money. Hi, right, sir. Well, thank you. What's his name again? I don't know. He's a burner account. <laughs> well, thank you, Anonymous. If you would like, I give you my MetaMask wallet. <laughs> Let me see if I can't zoom. So you can it. make a random deposit. But now it puts that tint right to the very edge, and it's a smooth edge all the way up and at the top, so there's no gap of sunlight even at the very, very top edge. And this is how Tint Wizard does it. If it ain't like that, we probably didn't do it. Exactly. And just make sure you guys, obviously, clean all your stuff off, get the shaving, blah, blah, blah. Go from there. And for those of you just tuning in, uh, Wiz kind of knocked out the uh, quarter windows in the back there at the start of the video um, while Mike got this prepped and ready to tint. Uh, and then once Wizard finished up, we moved on to these front windows. So if you're just tuning in, go back in the video, see what they had to do for the wing windows. Not the wing windows, the quarter windows, sorry, excuse me. Um, but yeah, so now that Mike's done with this, uh, he's going to move over to that driver's side. Um, if you guys would like any more in-depth of the front window, uh, or of the driver's side, passenger side, whatever it may be, um, mm -hmm. give us a comment. Let us know what you want to see, whether it's tearing the door panel apart or different techniques that you guys might have found. Uh, just drop it in the comments below. All right, guys, it's very, very important. While we cover door panels so it doesn't streak it, stuff like that. Come back, wipe it down. Sometimes you can get a like a chamois or you know something like that. Wipe it down. Get up here. Some of that stuff you're gonna see me like, oh my god, tries to go away. No big deal. But do not, not cover your door panels. I'm telling you guys, got the receipts, man. Door panels are stupid expensive. You can't, you can't get them all anymore. And half the time they'll come with pieces or trim options that are different colors or, yeah. So for instance, I did, this was years ago, um, it was a Lexus door panel, never forget it, $418.76 or 74 cents. I burned, I don't know, it was something like an insert in the panel, put a hole in it, something stupid, I had to buy the entire panel. Because it's all one piece. So, depending on the manufacturer, stuff like that, I don't know. But typically they're all one piece. You mess one up, free. Audi door panels are like 1500 bucks. So, you know that clip in the door you were talking about that drops to the bottom of the door? Yes. Um, 
Uh, so just give them a quick pointer as to where the screws are in this door, just in case they need to pop it off. Um, let's see, you have got a screw behind here, behind the door handle. There is one, I don't think we have a flashlight. But there's one hidden yes. in the little door compartment one down here. here. Let me see. It's been a minute since I've taken one of those off. There feels like one here. They may not be in here. It may be in here. Just without taking anything apart. Let's see. Nothing on the front side, bottom side, or back side. So and then it's if you... like two or three screws. Comes right off. And if you have to pull it most of the time, door panels are the easiest to pull from the inside. Usually quarter. from the inside. Usually. <laughs> and it's right here. There will be a little tab underneath. I won't be able right to get under to show you because uh, yeah, I don't have the max lens. Anyway. I don't have the max lens mod, and it's kind of dark. Um, I was gonna say you won't be able to see it anyway. But yeah, there's a little tab in there where the door panel kind of comes in a little bit, goes over, and then goes back to where it meets the metal. Yeah, so um, you can shove one of these in here. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'll put it down here. This is old. This thing's probably 15 years old. Anyway. You just put it in here because there's a slot for it. Yep. And then, and then that... metal ones are much better. <laughs> Pull it back and it'll pop them off. But yeah, you just put your pry tool in there and pop it off. So depending on how you're doing it, if you're doing it advanced install or basic install, um, if you have any questions regarding either of the methods, let us know. Drop a comment. Oh, look. I'm just showing my tool. All right. First of all, when you set your tools down, cover whatever you're going to set them on. Don't care. Just whatever you got, man. Put it in something, on something, whatever. And then it's easier to move. You can... Who does? Okay. That way you can save the actual... Yeah. Agreed. I told them we do too, but... This one, it's not. Yeah, I'm, there's a lot of tent shops out there now. Um, for some reason, they they literally will not take anything apart for whatever reason, and, and it doesn't matter what it is, they won't take it apart. So, this is more of a it's like a half and half, yeah, I guess, kind of. I mean, we're gonna tell you or show you how to take them off, not necessarily do it in this video, only because a lot of folks don't take them off. Um, I guarantee you about nine out of 10 dealerships don't take them off. So this video doing this may help them a lot, um, or not whatever, but you know, it is what it is. It's just, it's just easier to do it like this, especially if a customer is in the shop, you don't want to end up taking it apart. Cause I'm telling you, you start snapping these clips off. Yeah. I it don't does not sound good. If you guys go back in the video, <laughs> he popped on the driver's side, he popped the corner just so that you could hear what the clips sound like. They sound atrocious <laughs> trying to like pull them apart. Yeah, it sounds like old Ford door panels literally snapping in half. That's what it sounds like. It, nothing's happening, nothing bad. It's just... Doesn't sound good. No. If the customer's in the office and you don't have any way to kind of block their sight. It may sound a little destructive to them, and they, yeah. <laughs> they always get anxiety and worried. And so we just, it helps when that isn't a factor. <laughs> yeah. But in most cases, like Wizard said, we usually take the door panel apart just to make it easier and to allow us to get all the way down um, in a little bit more efficient manner. Now, yeah, I probably used too many tools, but... Uh... Yeah. Not really, but yeah. How'd you find the damn door? I'm 14%. Okay, everybody. So, we might take this time while he's setting up for this door. I'm going to change out the battery. So you're going to be on a technical difficulty screen just for a few minutes. Uh, you might not hear us, but I'm going to just swap out the batteries real quick for you guys. We will be back in just a moment.
All right, so we should be back and live. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hope we are still live. We are not charging anymore, though. Let's see about that. No shot, this battery bank just died. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm charging. I know we're back, but I don't know if I'm charging. Doesn't appear to be. It says it's on, so. All, All right, right, guys, what do you think? We usually play pranks on each other. You think a wet spot right in the middle of Mike's seat? Never know. We are back. Boom. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all ready for some, uh, a symphony here? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yep. Sounds terrible, but it's just the clip giving free. All right, guys. I just got to do it. I can't dick around. I just got to do it. Yeah. And uh, the word pussyfooting is okay. <clears throat> do not do that because you're gonna end up screwing something up yeah Hold you back just be careful don't be like a a brute or nothing like that but don't be super like oh my god i'm gonna break it well if you're too almost like you have to bro <laughs> almost if you're too scared and you're just pulling really easy on it you might end up uh messing up the plastic clip itself um so it's best to give it just a nice little pull just like that just a little oops and yep. that's just enough to hear it click and that's when it's out of its socket boom all right now you have those atrocious clips they go into the back of the door panel a key. Oh, hold on. Grab a light. <clears throat> Grab a little flashlight for you guys. Make it a little easier yeah, to see you. you guys can actually see it. Okay. So. See them? They just snap back in. You just push them. Snap. Good to go. But yeah, that the uh, seal of the door actually has those clips on it. Um, some of them. boom, boom, boom. Yeah, some of well, I'm talking about this car, Mike. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this car, uh, the clips are on the seal. Uh, some newer cars are adopting this method, but there is what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and a clip on the side. Uh, that is how many clips are on the top, so you should have about seven or eight. Um, and then, of course, these two uh, bits here in order yeah, to get that seal out. You can take those out or pull this up. Like I said, be careful with them damn clips because if they fall on the door panel, you're fishing. And it sucks. Huh? Yeah. I know, that's what I'm going to sell them. Now you can take it out and just let her hang. Or you can take it completely out, however you want to do it this as long as as long as it's in here it's it's kind of pinched by the door panel here um but it's just making it so that this isn't like a folded over hard edge and it's a nice curvy edge so it shouldn't damage the uh, rubber or the seal at all nope and if, i don't know if you want to take it out just take it out take it out it's just two more little clips i always go underneath here and then you know, make sure you lift it up first. I don't know. <laughs> just lift it up first. And they literally just pop out. Pop, pop. That's it. I mean, those are the two easiest clips you will ever have to take out. Pretty much. And then, let me see if there's one inside. Like the Mustangs or not. Yeah, there's one on the inside. It just barely holds it on. So that's why we typically fold it Ready? down, just so that we don't have to... 
we're and not just... peeling this back. Boop. And then that's the seal. That's it. Yeah, so we're just going to set I'm that off to the side ready. for now. Um, but yeah, typically we just hang it down the side. Yep, and then everything's exposed. When you do it like this, that's when you don't have to use the tape. You could just put the door cover over, push it down in here, and go from there. But Yeah, the tape is only necessary if you're not popping the door panel apart, which is what we were going to do at first, uh, and just do it like the other side. Uh, but we figured we'd go ahead and show you guys basic versus advanced, because why not? People that have fingernails, I like to just take them off with my nail first. These always do leave something, but if they don't, then I don't need to scrape it because we already had that discussion. Every once in a while, you can do this. And of course, it doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah, you actually got a little <laughs> bit more left there from doing it. <laughs> oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Always pay attention to the ignition, guys. Because some of these newer cars, you kill them. It's a nightmare. Yeah, they'll throw trouble codes for being jump started and all kinds of things. So yeah, it's just not like low life. voltage. I do, yes. So, real quick, going back. Hold on. Okay. European. I know it's a Chevy, it's still European. Un trip it like that. Right? When you want to trip on. it. It's called tripping, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Uh it just makes the window act like or think it's all the way up, like the door's shut. So you just click it like that. If the key's in it or near it, it'll do that saying A. Don't forget your keys. Yeah. I'm sorry? So trip it again for it. me. So that's the door open. That's when it thinks it's open. You can and you can tell see from this corner right here. Always tell from this corner. Watch when I when I trip it. Watch. So he's gonna trip it, and it comes back up to where it should be once the door's closed. Yep. And that gives you just a little bit more space for if you're doing a basic install to get all the way down to that bottom. I oh, I got you right there, wizard. To all the boys and girls out there doing this, do not shut the door. More than likely, you're probably going to be replacing a window and this trim here. And, do not do that. And if you really mess things up, you're replacing this lock cylinder here, and then it's a whole big thing. And that is a couple thousand dollar job. So. Yeah, none to it, right? A couple thousand bucks. <laughs> Whatever. So I just spray it and just kind of... Move that stuff off of there. I don't like using razor blades on car windows. And then I'll just feel around, see what you got. We scrub, not scratch. There you go. Yes. Scrub, no scratch. Love it. Couldn't get her wet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Now, however you guys want to clean your windows, do each his own. Step uno, clean your window. Yes. And some people watch this and be like, man, you're scrubbing it forever. Okay. You know how many dark nubs I have in my windows? None. Hmm. Weird. I'm coming for you, Chris. Well, one of us, somebody is. <laughs> Flush that top edge. I usually do it twice, sometimes three times. Just depends. Personal preference. Yep. And when it comes down to it, yes, bottom loading. Bottom loading, way easier. So much cleaner. Ooh, almost forgot. I usually take something like this, just something with a hard edge or this hard car, whatever the case is, on every window. I'll just redo this one, but 
No, I don't scrape the whole window with it. I get in the corners. I just kind of do this. So I don't have to long knife it. Okay. This? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just scrubbing. I'm not installing. So I scrub it like that. And then I'll go underneath. Because a lot of times when you take the seal out, especially in older vehicles like trucks and whatnot, take pull the seal out, you're going to notice under here is just nothing but dirt. So that kind of gets it, <clears throat> you know, loosened up so I can kind of hose it off. Because if you go down too far on your insole, you're going to pull all that dirt up. So I always do that just in case. All right, one more flood. You know, we're going to go ahead and speed the Bama off. And that's right. I said Bama. Whichever side to side you want to go, whatever. Go side to side, whatever. We can speed you off. I flush the bottom first and then go up a little. And where the hell's my window? Uh, over there, I believe, because oh, yeah. you put it on backwards. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put it on the wrong board. It's Saturday, bro. Leave me alone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. We had a badass time yesterday. We went down to Harper's Ferry, floated on the river. Awesome. We should have that video up soon, whether it be on the Tint Wizard page or on another page that wizard creates whatever it may be um but we should have that video up uh within the week within two weeks something like that um but it should showcase a little bit of what the harper's ferry uh white water tubing is like yeah that was pretty cool man i'm glad it hadn't rained in a little bit <laughs> that one wrap might have gotten a little hairy all right i'm grabbing the bottom the the bottom of the film down here where nobody sees. Don't grab any piece or part of the film. You want to collect dirt on your fingers and whatnot. So I don't know if you guys picked that up, but what Mike said is don't touch the back side of the film, the film that touches the glass. Uh, if you do have to touch it, like you can't pick it up off the board, Grab it in a corner that's very low and out of sight, preferably the bottom edge uh, where it's going to be hidden by the seal anyway. Um, try to grab it down there just so that if there is anything left over from your fingers, it's in a place that is not visible. <laughs> All right. So. If people are live, they're trying to interrupt. Yeah, right? Oh, you guys are saving windows. No, no, we're not. This was previously recorded three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just kidding. It is live. Just stop bugging us. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, Monday after nine. I got you covered. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's right. See, look, it only rang twice and they hung up. <laughs> They're definitely watching. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, they don't want me to bother them. Oh. Um, always put your squeegee where you can actually find it when you need it. So, overhang just a little bit. You can tell. See, I'm pushing it. You pushing push it. it down. You can see the bubble kind of form. Yeah, I got that on camera. All right, cool. And I usually start in the middle and fan out. I push the water up towards the edge and out. And then angle your squeegee and whatnot. I kind of go down the back side a little bit aggressively only because of what we did on the other side. And now I'm just going to squeeze this out now. And for the most part, uh, once, once Mike gets done filing, I'm going to ask wizard to come over and get started on this back window. Um, just so, just so we keep the flow of the video going, keep it quick and simple for you guys. Um, go ahead, go ahead and start getting ready. Um, what's that? Yeah, I'm holding the battery pack because <laughs> the camera tries to die on us. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and get started, like get set up with what you need. Um, and then once he's done filing, I'll move on to you because pretty much everything after the filing point is the exact same. 
Yeah, actually it does. It has a 90%. All right, guys. Like I said, you can do, let's see, what is it? One, two, three. One, two, three. three you can do three. Clicks. Sometimes I'll do two. I like to do two. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Two or three. And then I always found that using two two hands is better. Like keeps it more. This stable. just holds it, and this one pushes it. I guess I don't know. Think of it like a tripod. The more see how you're gonna do that. Think of it like a tripod. The more Hold points, the more points <laughs> you have. No, you don't have to hold it. So we just start cutting. All right. Yeah, the more points you have on the ground, the more stable it's going to be. Anyway. I just click one more out because when that goes off, I do not want to screw myself with a possible dull blade. So, And we're going to file this anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But I'll just come back to it. Again, I'm just only using my right hand to hold it and my left hand to push it. You get it up to the edge right there. You feel where it stops. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Keep it stupid simple. <laughs> and then you can just do this all the way down. Again, be very careful in this front corner. Cut that damn thing. It's going to suck. Just be very, very, very careful That's when it. you're getting close to that plastic. Or that, not plastic, this rubber piece here. You do not want to cut into this piece here. That happens that, almost instantly. Yeah, it's charging. It's at 14. Oh, right. It just doesn't say it's charging. It's weird. Uh, there's a... and that's that all the way around that's it <laughs> and for the younger guys hold on trashy trash Bloop. Bloop. and so for the younger guys that are just starting out um slivers of film like that do not yank them you yank them you cut yourself Guaranteed. Us OGs. Mm -mm. Home cuts suck. Oh, dude, they're worse than anything ever. Think of a paper cut. Now make oh, it God, thinner. Oh, God, hundred times worse. Yeah. So there was this dude that uh, was working with us, working with us years ago. Not us, but anyway. Um, he was taking the, the plastic sheeting off of, a, I think it was like six or seven mil, probably seven mil. He did that, wasn't paying attention. Piece comes in here, literally goes from here all the way down until it stops. Like, I don't know when it went through. This jump was like, Boop. Boop. Oh. so don't do that. Do not ever run your hand across the top of the film. Bad. All oh, that's going to start bleeding pretty bad. I just squeeze me like, uh, you know, anybody else. This is his tool. This is the tool he actually prefers the most. We call it Sparkle Sparkle. Because of the sparkles. Um, but yeah, this <laughs> this is the one-handed tool uh, made by Fusion Tools as well. Um, this one you can actually buy without having to get a hold of either of them, um, whether it be on Facebook or email. I mean, you can do that too, don't get me wrong. Uh, but you can actually buy it straight from their site. Fusion S. And I actually, we actually really dig these hybrid, or are they hybrid blades? Hybrid. Hybrid blades, uh, special on back windows, y'all. Use a softer one for your, I guess it would be your second squeegee. Um, you know, you, you got to use your pink or your yellow. Do that first. Come back with this, and it comes. It goes right around the defroster lines. It takes out just enough water so they don't suck. Mm -hmm. And then flip it around and hit it with a blue. Like Perfect. Mustang back windows, chargers, all that kind of garbage. Yeah. It helps. Yes. Do yourself a favor and do it. <clears throat> Again, available at Fusion Tools. FusionTintTools.com or hit them up on Facebook. Uh, Fusion Tint and Vinyl, right? I do not know. Uh, go ahead, say that again, Wiz. I believe it is the website. If well, you just search Fusion Tint Tools, you'll find it no matter what. Yeah. Do you know what their Facebook page is? Offhand, I no. Like Fusion Tint and Vinyl <laughs> Tools. We're gonna go with Google oh, okay. Fusion Tools. No. <laughs> <laughs> you Google Fusion Tools, you Google you'll find Fusion it. Tools, you're gonna find it. Uh, I actually have the link for.
for Fusion Tools website in the description down below. So if you guys want to check them out while you're watching this video, go ahead and do that. Um, we also have merch for those of you just tuning in. Uh, we have some Tint Wizard merch now live on our store. It's also linked down below in the description. Uh, so go check that stuff out. We are running a promotional offer right now that if you wear your piece of Tint Wizard merch, uh, whenever you come in for your appointment, you will get 10% off your purchase of your tint job. So, Mike, does the order of which you do filing or heating first, does it matter? To me, yes. Only because it's just the process that I do it. For him, it doesn't matter. I don't know. It's a, it just doesn't. <laughs> I gotcha. I was going to say, because you filed first on the last side and then heated it. No, no, you always heat first. I always heat first to tack it. Because when I... When I first started filing windows, basically what happened was I wasn't heating it. And when I'm not heating the top edge, the tack to the glass, when I was filing it, it was coming off and, you know, a lot of garbage was getting in behind and stuff like that. So in order to not screw myself every time, this is what I do. So it's like if you're using the tool for the first time or something like that and, you know, it breaks or it scratches film, or whatever the case is, the thing goes in the trash, we ain't using it no more. So that's kind of the way I tint is, if I did that process a few times, I was comfortable with it, it still screwed me, not doing it no more. So this, for me, is statistically the best way to do it for me. Yeah. Everybody does it differently. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter how you start, how you do it, as long as the end product, the finished product is clean install, you've got sharp lines, you don't have big ass gaps, like we all know what we're talking about. Um, and it's just clean. I mean, that's why we bring you it all the way to the You don't take pride in your work. You know, if you don't take pride in your work, don't do it. Like I always tell my kids, and if they're watching right now, do it right the first time or don't do it. It takes twice as long to redo it. It's going to cost you money. You want to cost yourself money? By all means, go ahead. Yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and ask that for you, Mike, just so the viewers were aware that sometimes the process does matter, but other times it's whatever you find that works best for you. Yeah, pretty much. All right, Logan, I'm going to go ahead and clean this window up. We use one of the same things you use on your dishes, blue scrubby sponge on the back, though. It holds the cleaner. That way it's not dry. You're not having to spray as much. On these Camaros, there's a whole bunch of dots up here. I found no matter what tool I'm using, my finger works the best at making sure you get in between those dots. Because if you think about it, your skin is going to be more pliable than the sponge. So I always give that a good scrub. Hold on a second, Wiz. Got to show this. I will. Right. I'm just cleaning while you go to that. And here, then here, 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 here. Come on the side. I'm running. Oh. Okay. Uh, on the other side, remember when I was telling you about heating the back edge? It gets you like this right here. That's what it'll do. If it gets too hot too fast, because, you know, your boy doesn't like to wait. Stuff happens. So you just come back, slowly push it down. I'm going to get the glare out. Slowly push it down. Now, if it's still hot, it's, it may or may not pop back. Angle your, your hard card, squeegee, whatever. I always find that a hard card with a paper towel is a little better. Just in case there's any moisture that comes out. It's pretty toasty. The glass is still hot. He's holding it at that same, like, 20, 30 degree angle, 45 maybe even, um, that keeps it so it's not, not hurting the tent, not hurting himself, not straining his arm, his wrist. <laughs> I, I don't care about arms. He's like, oh, I don't, I don't care about my muscle. Yeah, okay. No, it's um, I don't want to redo it. I don't want to redo so, it. So if it hurts my arm, it's only gonna hurt for a minute. All right. Yeah, and basically what I do is I just put it at an angle. I'll do it on this side. I'll put it at an angle, and I'll actually push out. But when you push out, by default, 
it goes down. So you can do that and push it down at the same time, whatever you want to do. And like I said, make sure your towel stuff is uh is cleaned off. But that same angle that he's holding is pretty much the same for the file as far as the angle goes, maybe not the direction. Um, yeah. but that same angle is pretty much held universally with almost every tool that he uses that has to do with that edge. Okay, now I'm gonna go <clears throat> down the top edge here. It's pretty much the same thing like I did on the other side. But like I said, with that back side, the film is gonna shrink differently. So it with a lot of heat, it wants to pop up. But not a big deal. Once it starts cooling down, you can tack it. Not a big deal. Don't freak out. Just don't let it go whoosh, all the way into the window. Which if that happens, you might as well just redo it. So all right, back to the whiz. He's over here bored I'm waiting just on me. Laying here. <laughs> Are you ready? No. All right, so we got the top. This is what we're using for the back. We always call it the scrubber on a stick. Yes. And then just make sure you're always getting that very bottom. So I'll get a little outside shot for you, Wiz. Because that back window is very, very tight. You don't get to actually see most of the window out of it, from my angle at least. So a lot of it is, might have to be me back here getting it for you guys, and then just re-elaborating what Wizard says. Um, but yeah, he uses that scrubber on a stick to get all the way down in the window. <laughs> you said it with, with the scrubber on a stick. Well, because <laughs> it, it's a Jeff Dunham thing. Like, if you've ever watched <laughs> Jeff Dunham and how he says jalapeno on a stick, <laughs> like you, you just use that same streak. <laughs> I fold a paper towel over and pretend I'm shoveling snow or trying to look like one of them cool flat glass cleaners and just go around. Just getting that in case you got any of the big dirt or pieces of fiber from your scrub pad, but. And then the habit I've got into is taking the tools you're going to use on the bottom and going ahead and getting that part you can't reach, giving it a good preliminary. God, that is the ugliest back window I've ever seen. You can't see half of it. <laughs> All right, then we'll give it just a little mist. And the yellow turbo. Always make sure you guys don't hit this with the squeegee. If you do, I promise you're going to have dirt everywhere. I like to create this like rainbow shape, I guess, where you start a little lower over here, keep the flow of the water off the bottom, and come down a little bit. Yep. You notice it's dry here and here now. Same deal. Don't go straight across. Come up a little bit and then across. Finishing down. Now it's completely dry both sides. You're not leaving that line of dirty water that you do when you go straight across. And once you get good at it, you can kind of do the advanced and go back and forth. It's really hard in this back <laughs> window just because there's not even enough space for his hand, let alone the hand and the squeegee. It, then that argument over you do you need this or do you don't? Well, I just extended mine another three inches. So in my world, I do. Mike's world, you'll never see him use one. Get down as far as you can clean. You don't want to be dragging your hand across there. Your hand's dirty. And then we're going to do the final. Always use the inside of your paper towels. The outside could be dirty. Create that nice, flat, sharp edge. You want to go outside? <laughs> That sharp edge allows him to get all the dots that he can reach. He uses it like a, a snow plow or a shovel, keeping all the dirt and the dirty water on the front edge of that paper towel, just so he's not spreading dirt. He's removing the dirt. All right, then just like a door window, give it a little flush here. 
where you can see your water, make sure you're always flushing that down. At the same time, don't flood your car. Remember to keep wiping this stuff right here down. Interior costs more than your tent job. Respect it. All right, Mike, give it to me. You ready? Mike. Yes, sir. Little tip for the Camaros. These things always get in your way, especially when you're the guy doing it by yourself. Extend that thing down. It helps with all of them. And tuck the extra up underneath the seat. Just gets it out of your way. Gets a that bit. trip hazard out of your way, and you're not fighting that belt. And right. keep your interiors covered, guys. Yeah, yeah, we we always cover with these. Uh, what is it? It's technically just cloth. It's um. Painter's yeah, canvas. Drop Painter's drop cloth. We had some questions about that in a previous video. Um, but yeah, we just got ours from Lowe's. Uh, it's a great canvas material. Gets or protects the uh, car's interior from a lot of that water. Hello. Tell me you just dropped that. Did you get that on camera, ladies and gentlemen? Mike almost dropped the film. You crease oh, it? Good. Did you crease it? No. Just to be safe. <laughs> Mike used to spray Mike. <laughs> <laughs> In solution in the mouth. All right. This is going to make it suck, but usually I just put my hand in it for you two team guys. The other side. Do not let it touch the fabric. And if it's a big, fun. big window, <laughs> you just kind of create that air pocket underneath and slide your arms under until you get it where you want it. Get a nice flat on the window without touching the deck. Just lightly slide it down. So it's completely covered. With the patterns we use, vinyl and film designs, they just fall right in. I always check for fitment with my patterns by looking at this top edge and giving it about a sixteenth. They line right up. If you guys really need to see it shrunk or any of the outside stuff, leave a comment. I'll do one, but Really, this is the easiest window there is to shrink. You can do it wet, dry, dryer sheet. I use baby powder, so whatever. Old school. Old school. Take any of you new schools on any time. All right. Now this window here, it's got a lot of vertical lines. These vertical lines will trap water right here if you take the squeegee straight across. Make sure when you're going across these lines, you're always at an angle, one way or the other. If you do go straight, you will create a pocket of water right here, and then it will fail, and everybody will whine that the film was bad or junk. It's user error 90% of the time. So story, guys. I start here and go one way, and then the other, back and forth across my windows. I don't go to the edge. I leave all my water lay right here. It helps to keep from getting those fingers when you go back and forth that end up becoming dry spots. And then from the middle, out, out, out. Use that water, guys. It really helps. It flushes all the little particles out. Uses those lines like railroad tracks. And see the wave of water? I don't know if you can, but it'll push all of that little stuff out. I don't know if I can get there for you. Yeah, let me go on the outside for you. Oh, it's even harder on the outside to see. But yeah, just push those pockets out.
can you see down in here? Do my best. I understand why these are such a pain in the butt for you all, or for everybody. That's as far as I can reach. I don't know why a Chevrolet designed a car that you can't even clean the back window. But that's as far as my six foot four skinny armed guy <laughs> can reach with my hands. So, scrawny donkey. Here again, make sure when you're using this, you're only working a line at a time. And making sure you keep that same angle. Don't puddle. It will suck later. Wiz, I think for the next live video, we should get that wireless mic working again. Just so if I do have to, like, hand cam it and go on the outside, I can still pick you up on the inside of the back window. Oh, yeah. And it'll just help to give them a better view of what's going on while still being able to hear. Give me that light mic. Like the red one. I wonder if I light it up so you can see from outside. If you light it up, I might be able to. It's just it's really dark on the outside. Oh, yeah, that's better. This gives it a little background on the inside there. Trying to get the reflection of our bright, bright uh, bulb off the glass. We need, we need tent Jeff, lines. Jeff Rutherford? Again, he's in there cleaning that dash part again, because always protect the interior. Interior matters more than your tent job. Well. <laughs> And the bald guy, the bald guy's name is Wizard, by the way. The bald guy's <laughs> name is Wizard, by the way. Wizard and Mike are our tag team. All right, so back to my tool. Flip back to orange for back windows. But we'll see how far we can get down with this one. He's that get down. All right, with this one, it helps a lot to... For these harder back windows, one hand becomes your pressure, the other hand becomes your guide. You can do it with the little ones, it helps. I used to use the one that's really long without this end, that was my favorite till this one. Can do the same thing with this, plus, I can go back and forth on the easier windows. So, down as far to the middle, see the flex, the flex in the squeegee, keeping that same angle. It's just jerking because I'm using a lot of force. And you're wedging your finger in between the back dashboard, too. So there's one way. And then see, with that big handle, the, the regular one, it got in the way. It was hard to flip around in these tight spaces. That's why I wanted one on each end. Then I don't have to keep trying to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Flipping the long like struggling? Come on, man. Here again, going across those at an angle. And then flushing out the edge. Yeah. Wizard's wand was uh, kind of specifically created for back windows. It was definitely meant for the user in mind. If you could squeegee a back window of a Tesla free in under 90, 90 seconds. seconds, holler at you, boy. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, go check out our uh, Tesla Model 3 video. Um, in that video, he does the back window, which is the full back window, not the half back window. Uh, in under, well, I guess I could, yeah, I guess I could say sub ninety seconds, um, using the wizard's wand. So that's bumping and everything, y'all. Yeah, bumping, <laughs> whole nine, ninety seconds. Hey, point that over here real quick. So when you go to put these panels back on, all you do is just put the seal back in. Snap, 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 snap. Done. It's that okay. easy. Bye. And if you take the whole door panel off, make sure to put your screws back in, yada yada. That's important. Yeah, no leftover pieces. <laughs> if you have leftover parts, probably not a good idea. All right, and here's where the fun, the pain, and my relationship and understanding of tattoos comes from, even though I don't have any. The Accord is the worst, but this one's not bad. This is all rough. 
when you it's as far as I can reach with anything with a big blue on it I don't care you can't get anything any further so I go to this one with the orange crush here again fusion um, when going down here don't try to get as far as you can all at once work a line maybe two and make sure when you're going across these squares here I don't know if you guys can see them that you're going like this and working that water across don't just try to go whack you'll leave pockets of water here and it'll fail so just these little like hook shapes and work each line so he's basically doing a 90 degree swoop um going from this way to straight down Kind of like a Japanese fan if you look at it, just upside down. And I go back the other way again. And boy, let me just tell you. How bad that hurts right there. Yeah, just in that short <laughs> little time. You've already blistered that hand. And Mike is, since he has finished with his two windows, uh, what he typically does is come out and help Wiz in terms of making sure the quality is on par with where it should be, checking bubbles, any lines, anything he might miss, because uh, it always helps to have another view. Yeah, having one guy out on these things, two people is pretty important. Unless, hold on, Wiz, stop. Unless you like to get in and out of the vehicle 500 times do whatever you did on that side on this side that got everything out dude that should give you a little bit more of an idea of the shape he's talking about it's kind of like a pizza pizza slice how'd you swipe the bottom on that side You see his hand blistered. Oh my god. Yeah, just in like the three swipes it took him to to get that. that swipe that one swipe was perfect. Almost. Trying to get the glare out of the camera for you guys. I'm sorry, I didn't even realize. Getting that bottom edge. Oops, sorry, Mike. Mm -hmm. And I would show you guys the inside, but this is this is Wizard's World. <laughs> Head against the headliner, feet in the trunk, hands in the back of the dash. Logan, go to the left. Sorry, sorry. You're good. Stop. Don't stop. <laughs> he likes to keep going if I'm coming. And what Mike is doing Done. is just pointing out any air bubbles. Um, he's also trying to make sure he doesn't push it too far, because if he pushes <laughs> it too far, he could end up peeling that film back. Well, I have noticed the wizard likes to get a little overzealous with his squeezing, and every once in a while he'll have it perfect, but keep going like this. Like this. Okay, Mike. From here, 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 over, we're good. Let me get the... Okay, man. No, hey, man. No touch, okay? No touchy. No touch. He touched it. Yeah, no touch, man. No touch, and you'll touch. Looks Why you really touch when I say good. no touch? Are you getting out to uh, heat these? No. You want me to do it? All right. So now he's going to move on to bumping those edges, and then afterwards we go to the heating. 
Was what? Heat. Oh, I was just eating. I'm like eating with an H at the beginning. You know what I mean? Another one of Wizard's weird ones. I use this to bump. For one, it's rubber. For two, I can get all the way to the bottom. But if you notice, it's dry now. It slides underneath of the panel. So you can literally bump with it. Make sure everything's down. And then I wrap it in my paper towel. Kind of like residential guys, when you're doing residential, you don't bump with a two inch card while you're doing it here. It's already in hand. And there you go. Mike, you want to go over heating the lines out? So, Wizard literally uses six tools for a back window. One, two, three, four, One, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Can you bump from here to here? This is just here for the fun of it. Where? Fair enough. The right half. Oh, shit. He's just getting those top dots as best as he can. Get that all sealed up. Yeah, you know, when you guys are doing these or any vehicle that has dots on the top, if you're pulling the car out and it's completely black and it looks really good after install, sorry you didn't push hard enough, guys. That's gonna fall off the glass, more than likely. So just push it out and it should, if you do it correctly, should turn mostly white. Yeah, so if I can get a good close-up on it, do you see how the dots are just a slight variance in color from the rest of the glass? That they, lets you know. When they all dry, it'll be uniform white all the way around, so there's really nothing, nothing you can do. But install, especially on the, the majority of the dots, especially at the top of the glass, bump them out. You know what I mean? Bump the moisture out of it. All right, so <clears throat> what we do with these types of windows when it has the vertical lines um, i don't know if uh wizard went over earlier but all of the water from the the frosters comes in comes all in comes those in little corners and goes all the way down and sits in like you said all those little corners so when you see cars like these and the bubbles and everything like that it's usually bad install could be bad film I'm not saying it, it's not but <laughs> it's usually bad install so you use your interior lighter <laughs> go up a line and you can come back down and that's it that's all you got to do to them you don't have to get too crazy too hairy with them none of that just let that moisture look go away come back down whoa yeah your key indicator for whether or not it's kind of ready or not is you'll see that lighter white on the glass it's actually just the moisture on the inside evaporating yep no it's on the outside of the glass yeah the moisture well not i didn't mean to say inside sorry the outside <laughs> is evaporating okay and then you can go up the sides as well if you want see how that moisture looks it's on the glass it's warm it's almost gone that's all you need to do to heat that's all the heat you need Obviously, after doing this for a number of years, kind of get a feel for it, kind of like with a heat gun. Use the same type of heat gun, you know, five, six, seven years, whatever the case is. You know the temperature of it. You know how long it takes to get hot, things like that. So, you know, if you're not too familiar with a torch, you know. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those things that you have to you have to use and put into daily repetition in order for All you to get the feel for it. should have a torch. Because uh, all of us have had those tent jobs that film just doesn't want to come off. It comes off with a torch. Get it real hot on the outside, it won't come off. So, I mean, 55 years of experience does tell you it comes off. I'm not 105, I'm just saying. He is. <laughs> That's what we got. We got a little over 50 years of experience. But uh, before we conclude the stream here, uh, we typically go around the outside of every window, as every tinter should, 
and uh, clean the outside for any residue. I'll catch it in the light here. You can see all the, the water splash from it draining down on the outside of the glass from when he sprays the inside to apply it. Um, but we always do the mirror, the door, any wing windows that it might have, the quarter windows, the rear window, and then, uh, of course, the other side. Uh, but if we do a top strip, uh, which is the top strip that goes along the top of the glass, usually above the AS1 line, um, the only time we clean the windshield is if we do the top strip. Typically, yes. Some go over overboard with it. Hey, man, we no touch it. So when you guys are done filing, I don't know if you can see this part of it. I'll come back. Obviously, you got to look it over because there's three little bubble thingies right there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. Yeah, I can Let's barely see. see them. Can you point them out with your finger or the tip of that? Uh, let's see. All right. I was that one's right there, one's right there, and it's on the edge, guys. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Trying to get the best angle I can. We're almost impossible to see. Trying to catch it in the right light here. Yeah, right there. I think I got it. There are little dark spots on the yeah. window. Yeah. You'll see them go away as soon as he scrubs this. Sorry, I got it. <laughs> Very top edge, and now they're gone. Yeah, on video, it might be a little scuffed. This isn't 4K, this is 1080. Um, we typically do all of our YouTube videos in 4K where you can see every little minute detail. Um, but unfortunately for our lives, it won't let us stream at 4K just yet, so. And that was it on this piece. Other than that, we're going to take all of our tools out, all of our coverings and things to protect the interior, uh, and put it back the way we found it, nice and clean and tidy. And that. Yep. Once Mick over here gets the... The window's all nice and tidy. Do a little walk around and show you what it looks like after we have it done. Stream's been going for about, what, two hours now? 1.15. GST still up, but coming down. We here at Tint Wizard love crypto. Um, yes, we do. <laughs> Not right now, but we do love it. We accept crypto <laughs> as a form of payment as well. Little do y'all know. Um, but yeah, yeah it's, it's important to diversify, you guys. I mean, if your tent window is cool, but if you don't have something to back up, you know, like gold, silver, investment, stuff like that, you got to back up your wealth. You have to be able to secure your wealth. And, and that's you usually with like metals. Owners, it does come in just like cash, no processing fee. If you don't want to play the gambling game, Cash it right out to USD. Then it's just like cash, no banks in the middle. Yeah, it's just, it's in its infancy right now, but it's going to go digital, y'all. So you might as, <laughs> might as well just bite the bullet and start doing it. So yeah, if you guys think we might, or not think that, but if you guys would like to see some more crypto investment insights maybe, or even like a, a little way to read graphs, Anything. If you guys want to see some more of that kind of stuff, let us know. Yeah, we actually do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm new here, uh, so I have been learning a lot about crypto and window tinting. Um, this man right here is a, a borderline genius when it comes to literally anything and everything. That's why we call him the wizard. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if you guys have anything you guys want to see let me know anything you want me to get a little close up of before we end the live here let me know it's still kind of dirty on the outside and fibers couple smudges i'll get rid of for you mike's fingerprints I leave a little disaster everywhere I go. Now I'll go around <laughs> the edge of this back window here just for y'all to see. I'll try and go slow enough that it looks good. Make sure you get the dots.
We always do a little quality control inspection once we have it done and clean. Because you never know, once you clean it, sometimes you can see stuff that you didn't see before. So give it a nice little cleaning and then give it a once over. If it looks good, it's out the door. Goodbye. All right, guys. It's Wizard. <laughs> this is Mike or Mick, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks Thank for you. watching. Please subscribe. Give us a follow. If you guys got any requests, just uh, hit us up. If you can't get hold yeah. of us there, shoot us up on Facebook. Leave us a message. I'll gladly answer any questions. Yeah. Have will. a good one, guys. <laughs> it's Saturday. Go do something with the family. Happy Saturday, guys. Bye. Buy our merch. <laughs> merch now live. Everything's in the description down below. But other than that, peace out, guys. Do it.